Hello, Sam Brooks from Tool Hut here. Today we're going to go over the procedure for signing up for AC Delco to program GM vehicles. We're going to talk about some of the guidelines that I use in my day-to-day -day operations of programming GM vehicles with a J-Box or a Tech 2 or an MDI. Hope you enjoy the video. Okay, a couple things you're going to need to program GM vehicles. The first one is you're going to need some kind of programming interface. It's going to depend on the type of vehicle that you're programming, what kind of interface I recommend. There will be more on this later. A stable power supply. This is not a battery charger. This is a stable power supply that puts out DC voltage to the vehicle. You need high speed internet and you're going to need the correct version of Java installed. Notice I did not say the latest version of Java installed. You need the correct version of Java installed. Again, more on this later. The first thing you're going to do is go to acdelcotds.com. That's tomdavidsam.com. You're going to go in here and you're going to register. Where it says not a registered user, click here. This is just your name, address, information like that. There is a column there that confuses some people. It's an LSID and a passcode. This is the information where you put in if you are LSID registered with NASTEV. We'll have another video on this at some other point. But if you're not registered with NASTEV for an LSID, just leave that blank. The password is something that changes every six months or 60 days, so you're going to want to do something that you can change pretty easily. You're going to, once you're registered, you're going to go to the subscribe now button you're going to log in and then you're going to pick the basically the subscription that you're wanting if you want a year or three months or two days i'm just doing a two day here for uh, the video purposes all of your information is populated down there at the at the bottom and i've uh, blanked out my information so yours will look a little different And the subtotal is $55. And just like AC Delco, anytime you go to AC Delco, you always have to scroll down to the end of the terms to hit accept. You'll do this every time you log in on another disclaimer. So you just hit purchase. And this is where you're going to put your credit card information. Plain and simple. This is where you put pay your money. The AC Delco site can be a little intimidating. So the top left hand column is your service information. The top of the right hand column is the all in one package. That's everything. That's the service information programming. The choice underneath that is your Tech 2 updates and the programming subscription. The one under that is programming only. So if you're just wanting to program modules, that's the one you want. The one below that is Tech 2 diagnostics. Uh, not a good choice, in my opinion, but some people want it. The other one is GM. Uh, <coughs> light duty global diagnostics that's the GDS2 that's the scan data for the uh, newer vehicles underneath that is GDS2 for GM light duty vehicles and then there's Tech 2 Win that's the Tech 2 on a PC underneath that and then underneath that is just the global uh, the GDS2 and Tech 2 Win package Again, not a good choice in my opinion. Okay, some of the guidelines that I wanted to go over with you. The first one is on your stable power supply, if you can adjust the voltage, most GM vehicles like around 13.6 volts. If you can't change the voltage, make sure you've got a meter on your battery monitoring the battery voltage. If your voltage falls below 12.5 volts, you're going to want to do something to get it above that threshold. GM vehicles are very sensitive to voltage changes, especially if it goes below 12 volts. There's several modules that will not recover if the voltage goes below 12 volts. The second one, and probably the biggest one, is if you're programming pre-2007 vehicles, make sure you have access to a Tech 2. You're going to need it. There's no doubt about it. You're going to need it. 
the J2534 interface will not do a lot of the functionality that needs to be done on pre-2007 vehicles. You can update most powertrain modules, but if you're replacing a module or if it's not a powertrain module, it's very likely you're going to need a Tech 2. And the biggest point I can make is fo to follow the procedure in the service information. Make sure you got good quality service information and follow the procedure. If you're replacing a body control module in a GM vehicle, you are wasting your money if you're buying s programming on acdelcotds.com. Most body control modules, not all, but most body control modules can be done with just a Tech 2 prior to 07. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel if you want to see some more programming videos. And I hope this was helpful. Have a great day.